Hey everyone, it is Sunday, March 12th. The time is 11.20 a.m. and I am here in sunny Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. And the temperature right now is around 27 degrees Celsius. And I am here at the beach, obviously. And for this one, I'll be taking a walk along the beachfront and heading over to the resort where I am staying. And that is the Gran Bavaro Princess. So I just took a walk for about 20 minutes away from the resort and this is where I ended up. Hello. <laughs> no, thank you. And it is yet again another beautiful day here. And this is actually my second attempt at recording this beach walk. Oh, there goes a chair <laughs> into the water. I did this a few days ago and I was walking along the beach on my way to record and I had my camera in the pocket, or rather in my pocket, and I got hit with a wave and then my gimbal wouldn't work properly. A whole lot of salt water was all over my camera and that one is still kind of acting up so it might be a goner, but it's a good thing I brought two of them. <laughs> and there's some shops down on this end. Hey, I'll be walking past several resorts on the way. Starting with this one. I'm not sure what they're all called, but a lot of them have signs and flags. This one says TRS Hotels on it. So I believe I am walking northeast towards the resort. This one looks pretty nice. I saw a guy out here with a gimbal. He may have been live streaming. Not something I've thought of doing, but I don't think I'll be able to see the screen all that well with the sun. And I think next week is spring break in much of Canada. And it seems as if every other person I meet here is from Canada. There's definitely been a lot more Canadians than Americans that I've run into. 
which will be the case often if you take one of those package tours from Sunwing or Air Transat. Uh, we book this resort and flight separately. Water just briefly came up to my knees. People of Palladium. I think there's a string of resorts under the Palladium name just here on the left. I will say the resort that I'm saying that I think has the nicest beachfront. There's not much room for sun chairs along this stretch. Notice some seaweed washing up. And by mid afternoon, the beach will be covered in that stuff. They roll a tractor through here in the mornings, and crews come around sweeping it all up. Already a fair bit has started to accumulate. So I'm here for six nights in total, and tonight will be... Whoa. <laughs> I'm sure they were sitting there waiting for that to happen. I'm soaked up to my waist now. As I was saying, tonight will be night number five of six. Last time I did a walk like this, other than the one I recorded a few days ago, it was on the island of Koh Samui at Chuang Beach in Thailand. So if you like this sort of thing, you can find that on the channel. Looks like they're about to launch a boat here.
I will say, this is some of the nicest sand I've ever experienced at a beach. There's someone trying to swim that wave. You'll see the buoys aren't that far out. I'd say they were almost 10 times further out in Koh Samui. But that water was protected by a break wall. This one isn't. don't often come stay at resorts in the Caribbean, but I will say of all the ones I've been to, this is the nicest beach. You might recall I went to the finest Playa Mujeres in Mexico last year. And that beach was Seaweed City. My feet are all tangled in the stuff right now. The time to get to this beach is early. And today I've got a beach chair right up on the waterfront. It feels like every five minutes someone is coming by trying to sell me something. And this is the travel club. That Palladium, that would be their exclusive area. And an all-you-can-drink inclusive bar right there. the Grand Palladium Hotels and Resorts. There's some people playing volleyball up there. I bet these people in the front here got up really early and came over and plopped their towels, maybe a bottle of sunscreen down, and then went and had breakfast. Heck, they might even have gone back to sleep. It's just kind of the way it works. If you want to get yourself a good seat near the beach.
by as the end of the Grand Palladium. I bet that'll end up <laughs> on Instagram. I think this resort might be the Occidental. At least according to Google Maps, that's what it was labeled as. Those guys have already stopped by where I've been sitting and tried to get me to pose with whatever kind of animals those are. Well, a parrot. I've already had a few to drink. Looks like there's some activity going on up there. Soccer action at the beach. is the royal level at whatever resort that is. Uh, look how much bigger the beachfront is on this end. I think I saw that the beachfront in front of the resort I'm saying that is actually two kilometers. And here we go, the Grand Bavaro Princess begins. Oh, 
and there's a big swimming pool just off in that direction. Yesterday I did a walk around the resort. So if that's not up on the channel already, it will be in a few days by the time you see this. But really the highlight of this place is definitely the beach. As I mentioned, I'm not really the resort type. But it's hard to argue with this. There's a really good food area in there with a food truck and a bar. And I think that's what I'll have for lunch. Oh, this is one of their beach activities. And there are two access levels at the res this resort, the regular one and the platinum. And that is what I have, so I'm just over here on the left. And I learned my lesson and this morning I got up early and got one of these beds right up near the water. And you can see this resort next to the one that I'm staying has shut down. I believe it's undergoing a massive renovation. And when they aren't attending to all the seaweed at the beach, beach. <laughs> whoops, this is what happens. It all builds up. Pretty stark contrast. And here is the Platinum Beach Grill where I've been going for lunch. It's got a little pool that's quite decent. And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna head back over to my chair. But since I'm here, why the hell not? Cerveza? Uno cervezas, no problema. He paid. You pay? You pay for him one beer? One beer, no. It's your treat. Uh, if I pay, <laughs> put it on my. Uh... And yeah, my brother. In my room. <laughs> All right. 
I ended up having a bit of a conversation, but I've got my Presidente light beer. So I hope you enjoyed this walk along the beachfront here in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below these videos as well. Home sweet home. All right, <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. To yoink or not to yoink. Yoink.